Hello everyone and welcome to This Is My Practice. Today I'm filming on Sunday, which instinctually feels like a day of rest. So today's practice will be mellow. We'll be doing some working twists and then some passive twists to lengthen and decompress the spine and the, the hip area. And also some hip openers in external rotation. So the only props that you'll need today are a strap and your mat. Get into some comfortable clothes and set your strap off to the side and we'll begin on our back. So come on down and first just start with your legs straight. Have your feet and your thighs about hip bone distance apart. First, pull your toes back toward your shins, flex your ankles, take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, point through your feet, your ankles, your toes, all the way to the tips of your toes to really stretch the front of the ankles, the tops of the feet. And we'll do that two more times. So inhale, pull your toes back toward your shins. And as you exhale, point through your toes, stretching the tops of your feet. And one more time, inhale, flex the ankles. And exhale as you point. Now keep your toes pointed here. Reach your arms back behind you, inhale. And as you exhale, hug one knee into your chest. Pause here, inhale, relax your shoulders. And as you exhale, hug the other knee into your chest. So both knees are hugging into your heart. Rock a little bit from side to side or lengthwise on your spine. And just take this opportunity to notice how you're coming into your practice. Notice if it feels easy to breathe already. Smooth breaths in, smooth breaths out. Notice where in your body you can relax and soften and just give in to gravity a little bit more. And just notice if there's anything in your mind happening right now that you can let go of and just set to the side. Give yourself this opportunity to simply move and breathe. Connecting to your breath connecting to your body and just trusting in that process really. Now continue to hold on to your right knee in just your right hand. Straighten the left leg down on the mat and on an inhale take this right knee open to the side like you're just hinging a door open. And as you exhale, change hands and take the knee across your body into a little twist. So maybe just 30%, maybe 50%. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale, the knee open to the side. You may get a little stretch in the uh, adductors, your inner thighs here. And then exhale, take the knee across. And come back to center. Hug both knees in and change sides. So left knee in your left hand, straighten the right leg down. And on an inhale, take the knee open to the side. As you exhale, take the knee across the body. So you're just opening that outer thigh, outer hip a little bit. You may get a little stretch in your IT band or maybe even up into your lower back. And one more time, inhale the knee open, like you're hinging open a door. And then exhale, take the knee across. So just a little mini twist here to start. And come back to center. Now straighten both legs down on your mat again. Stretch your arms back. Interlace your fingers behind you. Turn the palms inside out. Press your palms back towards whatever's behind you. Allow your shoulder blades to slide up a little bit as they will naturally want to do. And then point and flex your ankles a couple more times. 
So some people get a lot of stretch when they flex their ankles and pull their toes back. Some people get more of a stretch when they point through their toes. You'll get a stretch on the tops of your feet. There's no right or wrong. Just notice. Notice where you get a little stretch sensation. And then release your hands. Take your arms open to the side with the palms of your hands facing up. Place your feet flat and take your feet wider apart than your hips. And we'll move into our little windshield wiper twist. So inhale here. And as you exhale, drop your knees over to the right. Gently flex your ankles. Inhale back to center. Wait for your exhale and drop your knees over to the left. And just do this one more time from side to side. Remember to move on your breath here. So it's always breath initiated movement. Making that connection in our brain. The inhale begins and then the movement begins. And the exhale begins and then the movement begins. Now come back to center. You now bring your hands to the front of your pelvis and just sense that your pelvis is level, um, really in neutral position here. If neutral doesn't make sense or you're not quite sure what that is, you can watch the, the transverse abs tutorial. <laughs> You'll get a little more info on neutral there. But just keep your pelvis still and it will probably be in neutral. Bring your feet a little closer together and keeping your pelvis still, on your next exhale, drop your knees over to the right, but only so far that your pelvis stays completely still. Notice if you get any stretch here, take an inhale. And a long exhale. Bring the knees back to center and drop your knees over to the left just as far as you can keep your pelvis still. So it won't be a huge movement. It won't be a huge twist. Inhale here. And exhale. And back to center with your knees. Rock or roll your way up. And we'll come into child's pose. So remember, child's pose can be done in many different ways. You can have your knees wide apart, try that. If that feels good, do that. You can have your knees close together. If that feels good, do that. Or somewhere right in between. So continue to experiment with how wide your knees are in child's pose. Stretch your arms forward. Just relax your head. And remind yourself here, anything in particular that you can really let go of through your body, anything you can let go of through your breath, anything that's still in your mind that you don't need to be thinking about right now. On your next inhale, rise up onto all fours. Bring your knees so they're just about hip bone distance apart. Now take the right arm out to the side, turn your chest to the side, inhale. And with your exhale, thread that hand behind your left wrist and come into a little twist. Allow your hips and your thighs to move a little bit as they will want to do naturally. And do this one more time. Inhale, opening up. And exhale as you twist. Stay here, inhale. Relax in your upper body as you exhale. And press down into the left hand. Rise up, return to all fours, and we'll change sides. So two times into that little thread the needle twist. Inhale, open the chest to the left. And with your exhale, thread the hand behind your right wrist. Palm faces up like you're offering a little gift. I'm offering a little gift to you today. One more time, inhale, open it up. And exhale, thread it through as you twist. And then relax in your upper body as much as you can. As you inhale, 
Try to fill up a little bit more into your lungs, into your side ribs, and exhale. Press down into your right hand. Return to all fours. Walk your hands a few inches forward. Curl your toes under and exhale. Lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Now we're just going to move through down dog a few times. Sweep the right leg back and up and allow your hip to open if it feels good to you and your lower back and bend the top knee. Again, only if that feels truly good. Straighten the top knee, step it down, return to down dog. Inhale the left leg back and up. Open the hip, maybe bend the top knee. Straighten the top knee and step it down. Now move through this two more times. Sweep the right leg back and up. Open the hip. Bend the top knee. Step it down. Changing sides, left leg back and up. Open the hip, bend the top knee. And step it down. Now one more time, right and left. So oftentimes this is, this is just used as a transition. And really think of this as a pose. So you're paying attention to each transition, each movement, each breath as a full pose, as a full moment to pay attention to. Now both feet down, inhale, lift your heels. As you exhale, bend your knees and walk your feet forward to your hands all the way to the front of the mat. We'll move through two sun salutes before getting into our twists. So inhale, halfway position. Exhale, folding forward. Now just pause here. Remember if the backs of your legs or your spine feels tight, you bend your knees, give a little nod, yes, to your head. And open the arms, inhale, rise up to stand. At the top, if it feels good, touch your palms. And exhale, hands to your heart. Now inhale, sweep your arms forward and up. Press the palms. Exhale as you fold forward. Empty your breath. Press your feet. Little nod, yes, with the head. Then inhale to your halfway position. Exhale, stepping back to plank. And just find that movement from side to side. Shift the weight from hand to hand. Shift the weight from foot to foot. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, lower to the mat. For today, come up onto your fingertips. Bring your shoulder blades closer together. Inhale, come up into a small cobra. And exhale down. All the way to empty. Place your palms flat. Press to your knees. Stretch your hips back through child's pose. And rise up, down dog. Now in this down dog, step your feet as close together as you can. Shift your heels off to one side and allow your hips, your pelvis, to also shift to one side. Getting a little stretch in your side waist. And back to center with your heels and hips. Shift heels and hips off to the other side. Try to press through both palms and hands evenly here. And back to center. Inhale, lift your heels high. As you exhale, bend your knees. Walk, feet to your hands. Inhale to your halfway position. Lengthen your stomach, lengthen the front of your spine. And as you exhale, gently fold forward. Give your head a little nod, yes. Open arms, inhale, rise up. Again, only touch your palms if it feels good in your neck and shoulders. And exhale, hands to your heart. Now before we do one more sun salute, bring your hands to the back of your pelvis and come into a standing camel here. So bend the elbows, draw the front of your shoulders back, lift your chest, lift your toes, and lift in the front of your pelvis. 
what does that mean? What does lifting in the front of your pelvis mean? <laughs> so, you know, that silly analogy I use of lift in the front of your pelvis as if you're zipping up a tight pair of jeans that don't quite fit anymore. I've experienced that lately, <laughs> right? <laughs> so you lift in the front of your pelvis. Think of lifting your navel up under your rib cage. Breathe your heart straight up. And on an inhale, lift your chest, look forward, relax your toes, release your hands. Inhale, circle the arms out and up. As you press your palms, bring your fingers together and exhale, fold forward. Give your head a little nod, yes. Inhale, come into your halfway, lengthen your stomach and the front of your spine. And with your awkward foot, step back to plank. And do that same little movement. Shift the weight from hand to hand. Shift the weight from foot to foot. And in plank pose, inhale. With your knees up or down, exhale as you lower. And one more time, come onto your fingertips. Bring your shoulder blades closer together on your back. Inhale, come up to a mini cobra. And exhale your heart to the mat. Place your palms flat. Press your knees, stretch back through child's pose, and rise up to down dog. Now one more time, bring your feet close. Reach the right leg back and up and allow your hip to open. Again, if it feels good to you, bend that top knee, spread your toes. Straighten the top knee, inhale and exhale, step it down. We'll change sides. Breathe the left leg back and up. Open the hip. Exhale, bend the top knee, spread your toes. Inhale, straighten your top knee. And exhale, step it down. Now step your feet wider apart. I'm stepping my feet about mat distance. You want your feet about twice the width of your pelvis. And then walk your hands back to your feet just so that you can firmly plant your heels down. So it's a short down dog from hands to feet. Now bring your left hand somewhere to the outside of the right shin. It can be up near the knee or toward your ankle so that you're twisting. Turn your chest to the right. And now just shift your hips and your weight from foot to foot. Like you're wagging your tail here, moving the twist around a little bit. Take one more breath. Now try to even the weight between both feet. Both hands forward, change sides. So right hand to somewhere to the outside of the left shin, outer knee or ankle. Relax your head. Slide that left shoulder blade onto your back and shift your hips from side to side. Just a constant practice here of letting go, twisting out, releasing what you don't need. And then balance the weight between your feet again, both hands forward. Walk your hands forward so you're in your more traditional stance of down dog. Step your feet so they're just hip bone distance apart. Now we'll take a clearing breath here. Slowly through your nose, inhale, fill up. Open your mouth and slowly exhale everything out. Come down onto your knees. And we'll come into a little wrist stretch here. So, on your knees, <laughs> rise up with your hips. Turn your fingers to face your kneecaps. Place your palms flat on your mat. Then put a little micro bend in your elbows. This is a really small movement. And start to shift your hips back until you get a little stretch in your underneath forearm here. So some of you may be able to sit back all the way to your heels. Some of you, if you stretch your hips back, 
will get a good amount of stretch with just a little shift. So just pause when you get that initial stretch in the underneath side of your forearms. Relax your shoulders. Take one breath here. And then lift your hips up, release your hands, shake them out as if you're just going to shake off water from your fingertips. And we'll come into our first variation of a pigeon pose. So this is a variation of pigeon that, well, it's good for those of us that don't have very flexible hips in this way. It's also really good for people with knee issues and pigeon poses can be hard on the knees. So I'm going to mirror you here. I'm going to face you and bring your right shin forward. Have your shin parallel to me. So towards the front of your mat, probably flex that ankle and first bring that knee a little to the side of your hip. So notice that my thigh is coming out to the side. My shin is parallel to the front of the mat or to you really, if my mat was turned and then you bring your outer the back knee straight out to the side and you can just adjust this knee as you need to. Some people are more comfortable here. Some people are more comfortable straight out to the side. Some people are more comfortable with the knee further back. So feel free to adjust. There's a lot of gray area here and then use your hands, lift your pelvis up, reach your sitting bones back. So you're in a little anterior tilt and begin to hinge forward. You can place your elbows down. You may get a little bit of a stretch here just by staying on your fingertips. So you only want to hinge forward and bring your spine forward enough to the point that you get a stretch somewhere in this outer front thigh or gluteal, gluteal area. You may get a stretch in your lower back too. And then I like to use my hand. You'll, you would use your left hand if you're mirroring me to the sole of this front foot. You press your hand into the foot, press the foot into your hand and think of the top of that thigh, that front thigh, reaching back into the hip joint. Relax your shoulders again. And then slowly rise up and we'll stay on this side, but change the position a little. So bring your front thigh directly forward towards me. So you're making right angles here in your knee joint and in your hip joint and then start to hinge forward again. This is where many people actually get a little bit more of a stretch, but it's different on different bodies, just depending on how your hip joint is built, depending on your daily activities, your history, your genetics. Take another inhale. Choose to let go of it as you exhale. And then slowly rise up and we'll do one more variation on the side. You're going to take that front thigh across the body a little bit. My front shin is still parallel to you, right? So you didn't bring the heel in. And then you shift forward on your sitting bones, the base of your pelvis, the size across your torso as you hinge forward. And just depending on your hip joint and your tight spots, this is maybe an easier stretch for you. And maybe it's where you get more of a stretch. There's no right or wrong. Just notice the experience here. And know that it will probably change. <laughs> Take one more breath. And then slowly rise up. You can shake your legs out. Come back to all fours onto your hands and knees. And just shift your hips from side to side, like you're wagging your tail from side to side. Before we change sides, I'll have you breathe through a sun salute. So back to center with the hips, curl the toes, lift your hips up and back to down dog. Walk your feet forward to your hands. Inhale, come into your halfway, lengthen your stomach, reach your chest forward. Exhale, bow forward and give that little nod, yes, 
to your head. Open arms, rise up. Touch palms if that feels good. Press your feet and exhale, hands to your heart. Open arms, inhale, rise up. Reaching up, exhale as you fold forward. Inhale as you're halfway. And exhale, step it to your plank. Remember, you can do this plank with your knees down and then just shift from hand to hand, from foot to foot. Knees up or down, exhale, slowly lower. Fingertip cobra, inhale. And exhale, place your heart down. Press your palms, lift your navel, press your knees and shift your hips back towards child's pose. Rise up and we'll change sides with our pigeon pose variation here. So take your left shin and knee forward. And take your knee first to the outside. So this thigh will be a little angled to the outside. Shin parallel to me, flex that ankle. And remember that you have a lot of variation that you can do with this back knee. Place it where it feels best in that hip and lower back. Use your hands, lift your pelvis up, or reach your sitting bones back so you're tilting your pelvis forward. And then begin to hinge forward. You can use your right hand into the sole of your foot. Press your hand into your foot and foot into your hand. And think of drawing that front femur bone back into the hip socket. And then just simply be here. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, nowhere to be. Notice where or if you get a stretch. And your next inhale, rise up. Bring your front knee more towards your center line, but continue to have the front thigh directly forward. So you're making those right angles here. Start to hinge forward and think of that front thigh reaching back into your hip joint in order to hinge your pelvis forward. So the thigh bone reaching back is what makes your pelvis hinge forward. Press your hand into your foot, foot into your hand. Notice where if you get a stretch here, breathe there. Notice what can soften. Notice what you can let go of. Notice where your mind goes and try to let go of that for right now. And slowly rise up. And last one here, you take that knee across the body so the thigh is at an angle. Your knees about in line with your navel and your heart and the front shin is still parallel to me. You hinge forward because that thigh bone, the top of the femur is reaching back, hinging back. And again, remember, you may just stay right here. If that's a stretch, awesome. That's great. <laughs> Maybe you need to go a little further to get a stretch. So often I'm asked, like, how do I reach the peak pose? How do I reach the full expression of the pose? And there is no expression of the pose that is, that is full and the right way. It just depends on you and your body and where you're at. So if you're getting a little bit of stretch somewhere here and feel free to experiment with the direction that your torso is in, then that's great. That's the point of the posture and it'll look different for everybody. Soften your face, soften your eyes. Mm -hmm. 
Relax what does not need to be working right now. Take one more breath. And slowly rise up. Now this time, just stay seated as we transition. Shake your legs out. And we'll move into a couple of seated twists. So begin cross-legged. I'm putting my left shin in front. Come into a, a comfortable cross-legged position as best you can. Now reach your right arm forward and really reach like you're reaching towards someone to shake their hand, saying like, hi, it's not really nice to see you. And then reach your arm up and take that arm back. Let your spine twist. Think of twisting from your navel and your chest, your heart. And we'll do that one more time. Reach forward. Your spine might round a little bit like you're really reaching towards someone. You want to give them a hand and stretch the arm up and reach back and then we'll change sides so reach the left arm forward like you're giving somebody a gift and then reach up lengthen your spine and take the arm back looking back turn your chest one more time reach forward and reach up and turn your heart as you reach back now before we change sides, come into a little version of Navasana boat pose. Bring your hands behind your thighs, float your feet up. Draw your shoulder blades a little closer together on your back, widen your collarbones, and just be here. If you feel like working harder, feel free to straighten your knees. You can release your hands. We'll be here for three more breaths. Now, as your stomach, your hip flexors work a bit, as your spine works a bit, just see how you can do this in the easiest way possible so that you're working a little without any stress. <laughs> One more breath. And now cross your shins the other way. So I now have my right in front. We'll do the same thing with the twist. Reach the right arm forward. Allow your spine to round if that feels good. Give somebody a hand and then reach up. Lengthen the sideways as you reach back and turn your chest. And one more time, reach forward. And lift up and try to reach the person behind you. Change sides two times. Reach forward with the left arm. Reach up. Turning your chest. Reaching back one more time. Inhale. Lengthen your spine and exhale as you reach back. And release. I'm just going to turn and face you. Stay in this cross-legged position, either shin in front. Bring your left hand, I'm mirroring you now, to the mat, fingertips to your palm, and reach the right arm out to the side and up. This is your inhale. And exhale to center. Allow your pelvis to move from side to side. Change sides, inhale as you reach. And exhale, center, clearing out, releasing, letting go. One more time from side to side. You inhale, fill up and create space. And exhale all the way to empty. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Now come onto your back. And on your back here, straighten both legs down on your mat. Flex your ankles again, stretch your arms back. And we'll interlace the fingers, but put your awkward thumb on top. And just try to feel out which one is awkward. Turn the palms inside out, press your palms back, flex your ankles. Take a deep inhale and try to lengthen both sides of your waist. Press your heels down. 
Open your mouth and from the back of your throat, exhale. Now release your arms and take your strap. This is our big strap event. Take your strap and first strap up your right foot. Now have your strap one end in each hand and I like to wrap my hand around the strap and then bend the elbows it just enables me to relax the shoulders a little bit easier. And then for today, have the strap near your heel as you reach your heel up towards the sky. Uh, if it's too much of a stretch to straighten this top knee, then just keep it a little bent. That's completely fine, it's great. If you need more stretch, you can start to straighten the bottom leg and you can start to straighten the top knee. <clears throat> So think of bringing your shoulder blades just a little closer together on your back. Keep the front top of your chest wide open. Notice where or if you get a stretch here. Now this is the, the little bit of the heady part of today's practice. If your right leg is up, Think of reaching your right sitting bone. If you're not sure where that is, I have my finger right now on my right sitting bone. Think of reaching your right sitting bone towards your bottom heel. So essentially you're lengthening your top uh, side waist, that right side waist. Now take both ends of the strap in just your right hand. Walk the hand up until your elbow is straight. Externally rotate the top leg, so that means turn it out from your thigh. The knee and the foot will follow. And then start to take the leg out to the side and up toward your shoulder a little. And try to keep your pelvis still. So you're really trying to move just your leg independently of your pelvis. Take another inhale here. Relax in your upper body. And mouth exhale. Bring the leg back up. Now switch hands. Take the strap, both ends of the strap, in your left hand. Think of reaching that right sit bone toward your left heel and start to take the top leg across your body. Now, oftentimes, um, people ask me if you can move your pelvis in this position. Yes. As you take the leg across, you're not trying to keep your pelvis still. Allow the back side of your pelvis, the right side, right back side, <laughs> to lift up off the mat to whatever degree feels good. So it may be just a few inches, it may be a foot, you may feel ready to come into a full twist here. And that top outer hip, reach it forward so that you're lengthening your top sideways. One more breath. Long exhale, savor that long exhale. Navel to your spine brings you back to center. Bring the leg up. Release the strap and hug your right knee in towards your right shoulder. Out to the side, just allow your pelvis to move as it will. Hug both knees into your chest. And we'll change sides. So strap up the left foot. I'm strapping up more towards the heel. Whether you strap the ball of your foot or your heel or the metatarsal, that midfoot, uh, it changes the stretch a little bit. So strap up towards your heel today. You can keep both knees bent. If this feels like enough, you can start to straighten the top leg or start to straighten the bottom leg. Remember, it's not a goal. <laughs> it's just where you get a little stretch sensation and that's enough. And then take both ends of the strap, wrap your hands around, bend the elbows, relax your shoulders. Be here.
and for a couple of breaths as you spread your toes of both feet press through the big toe second toe side of both feet and now take the strap both ends of the strap in your left hand reach your left hand up until that elbow is straight externally rotate turn the top play out first and then start to take the leg out to the side and just experiment remember that leg directly to the side will be more of an inner thigh stretch leg and foot more towards your shoulder will be more of a hamstring stretch and both are great experiment with where you feel like you need the stretch for today heavy head inhale the leg up and change hands and as you start to take the leg across allow your pelvis to move a little across maybe enough maybe you want a deeper twist and that top hip the outer hip reach it forward so that you lengthen your top side waist You may notice that one side feels a little tighter than the other. I'm laughing because my left side is much tighter than my right side. <laughs> and just a note here, if you notice that one side of your body, one quadricep or one hamstring or one side that you twist to is tighter, I'd recommend that you stay on that side a little longer. So if one side is tighter, do that side last do it second and stay there for two or five more breaths so that side gets a little extra length and then bring the leg back up release the strap bend that knee up towards your left shoulder and hug both knees into your chest rock a little from side to side straighten one leg down then the other leg down return to your full body stretch reach your arms back and then just reach back through one arm a little bit more like you're trying to climb that sideways longer and reach back through the other arm one more time from side to side point flex your ankles move your toes move your fingers and then bend one knee then the other knee release your arms down by your sides we use the strap for one more posture here we'll come into bridge with the strap so place the strap in front of your pelvis down on your mat in front of your sitting bones so you're not sitting on the strap place your feet about hip bone distance apart hold the strap with the palms of your hands facing up and make sure the strap is taut here now before we come up into bridge lift your chin breathe bring your shoulder blades closer together so you're lifting and puffing up the front of your chest and now press your feet down into the mat and reach your knees forward in order to float your hips up the hips and the pelvis float up because your knees reach forward here and then maybe bring your hands a little closer together on the strap maybe bring your shoulder blades closer together continue to breathe and lift your chin enjoy your time here enjoy the fact that this is the only thing you need to do right now is breathe into this chest and heart opener two more breaths feet press knees forward lift your chin now release the strap spread your shoulder blades a little apart and slowly place your spine down 
and just pause here. Really pause as if this were the peak posture, the peak event of the practice. Slide your strap off to the side so it's out of the way. Take your feet wider apart, arms open, palms up. And on an exhale, drop your knees over to the right. And just your choice. Notice, does it feel good to keep your pelvis still? Or does it feel good to allow your pelvis to rotate a little? Both are good for different reasons. On an inhale, come back to center, and then exhale, drop your knees over to the left. One more time from side to side, just go at your pace. Pelvis still, or let it twist and rock from side to side. and back to center. Bring the feet closer together. And bring one knee up toward your shoulder, then the other. So one hand in each knee here. Bring your knees up toward your shoulder so your knees and your feet are apart. And if this feels like enough stretch, just stay right here. It's a great place to be. Reach your sitting bones down. If you want a little more stretch, take hold behind your thighs. If you want more stretch, reach up and either take your ankles or the outer edges of your feet for happy baby pose. So remember, in this posture, it's really about keeping the front top of your chest open, like you just did in bridge. So if taking your feet closes off the front of your chest, we kind of defeat the purpose. Right? So think of bringing your shoulder blades a little closer together, even if it means holding the backs of your thighs. You may want to rock from side to side. You may want to start to straighten one leg, then the other leg. For some of you, maybe both. Continue to reach the sit bones down. Take a breath in. Take in more breath and more breath. Open your mouth and exhale. Release one foot, then the other foot. And again, straighten the legs, stretch your arms back, full body stretch. Now, either Please set yourself up for final resting pose on your back or come seated for your final resting pose. And we're going to do just the first part of what's called a metta meditation. So you can either do this on your back or you can do it seated. The choice is yours. It's also called a loving kindness meditation. And again, this is just the first part. So keep that in mind. We'll do the full meditation in another practice. So either on your back, get yourself comfortable or come seated, make yourself comfortable. Take the time to really place your hands so that it's Comfortable in your shoulders and your arms, in your spine. Eyes can be open or closed. Now you'll repeat this in your mind. May I be happy. May I be at peace. May I be free from suffering. So memorize that. May I be happy. May I be at peace. May I be free from suffering. 
I'll say it two more times. Memorize it. Then you'll repeat it to yourself in your mind. May I be happy. May I be at peace. May I be free from suffering. May I be happy. May I be at peace. May I be free from suffering. Repeat that in your mind to yourself over and over and over again. This is the first part of our metta meditation, of our loving kindness meditation. A few more rounds. May I be happy. May I be at peace. May I be free from suffering. Now let that repetition go. Relax your breath. Place your body in a comfortable place, either on your back or seated. Please rest just as long as you can today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Savor your final resting pose. And I will see you again soon.